Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love MMA as much as I do. Yeah, if this fight were to happen, I would have to go with Bilal Muhammad just because Bilal has, you know, I look at how both guys fight, and in this case, they're both really good grapplers. You might say Islam's a more diverse striker just because he's proven to use more of his leg kicks and knock people out with head kicks like he did with Volkanovski. He can hit really good. But Bilal has some good hands too. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a toss-up to say who has the better advantage stylistically. What I would go with is just because Bilal's natural weight so far has been welterweight. And that's really the only reason I would give Bilal this win. This fight could go either way if it did happen. And again, I'm not saying it won't happen. But... You know, this would be a money fight for Bilal, a much-deserved money fight, because Islam's money right now, when you beat guys like Volkanovski twice, when you beat Charles Oliveira, Dustin Poirier, and you finish those guys like you have, you're making money, you're increasing your star power. So if anything, this fight would benefit Bilal Muhammad more. Honestly, I think Bilal would probably win this fight. And again, this is only because this fight's at welterweight. Bilal's been a welterweight for a long time. Islam's been a lightweight. And again, it might help. Uh, Islam in terms of his weight cutting. He might not have to cut so much weight because I know he's such a big guy naturally. But if I had to pick, I think Bilal would win. I think he would just be too much for him, uh, Islam to overcome as far as the grappling goes. I believe he would just pressure Islam to the point where he would eventually break him. You know, it, uh, when you uh, uh, I say that because I watched Alexander Volkanovsky fight Islam the first time. And he was able to get in his face and pressure him and do a lot of damage. And Islam beat him simply because of how Volk fights. Volk doesn't really look to take guys down. But Bilal, that's not going to happen. You're going to have to wrestle too and be able to strike. And I just think Bilal would just beat him most likely because of the size advantage, the experience advantage at welterweight he has. And again, he does have some good hands. So I definitely think he could catch him and hurt him probably more than Volkanovski did just because he's bigger and more powerful and would most likely knock him out.